Outrage tonight after a new study found that an overwhelming majority of Senate legislation is passed in secret. The Congressional Research Service said a staggering 855 bills in the Senate were passed in secret with no debate. Lisa Sylvester has our report. 94% of Senate bills that have passed in the 110th Congress were not debated on the floor, according to the Independent Congressional Research Service. No debate, no amendments, not even votes. They pass by something known as unanimous consent. Many of them are simple resolutions, honoring sports teams or naming post offices, for example. But they also include legislation that cost taxpayers $9 billion. Examples, amendments to the Social Security Act, changing the salaries of judges and justices, and amending the Coast Guard's troubled deep water program. Senator Tom Coburn says there's not enough transparency uh, or accountability. Here. When things pass by unanimous consent, you don't have to defend it. It just happened. You know, there never is a recorded vote. You don't have your hands on it. So you can deny culpability. Oh, I didn't know about that. Coburn is currently holding up 77 pieces of legislation that the Democratic majority leader has been pushing for quick passage. He says they contain poor and wasteful spending. And Coburn says the majority leader is not allowing a full debate or amendments to these bills. Senator Harry Reid's office, in response, says these bills have broad bipartisan support. And as for passing legislation without full debate by unanimous consent, his office said, quote, this is not exactly new, but the way the Senate has worked for decades. The press release by Senators Coburn and DeMint is a silly stunt. Public Citizens Congress Watch says, what's at work here? Politics. You can certainly see why Congress doesn't have a, a, a high rating, and, and that's why both sides are desperately fighting to put the blame on the other side. Congress's current approval rating is hovering just around 10%. Senator Coburn says his whole goal is to have a debate on these bills in front of the American public instead of just passing them in secret. He says the bills that are being held up would cost taxpayers more than $11 billion at a time when the nation is facing a huge budget deficit. Kitty? Thanks very much, Lisa Sylvester. Well, uh, Senator Jim DeMint is strongly opposed to the practice of passing critical legislation without public debate. Senator DeMint joins me tonight from Capitol Hill. You know, let's talk about simple measures everyone understands. You just push it through. No one's going to object to a sports team or something like That's that. Right. This is called hotlining. You push the bills through without debate. But these bills cost the taxpayer $9 billion. Wow. It's outrageous, isn't it? Well, if Americans ever wondered why so much uh, bad stuff comes out of Congress, this is one of the reasons. And the Democrat majority has taken this to um, a new level. Uh, Ninety-four percent of the bills that have passed in this Congress um, have been by unanimous consent. And uh, some of them were really big bills. And, and they've gotten to the point where they expect us to give consent to huge bills like the $50 billion foreign aid bill that passed last week. They pressured me and Dr. Coburn and others for, for weeks uh, to give unanimous consent for it to pass without a vote. They did the same thing with this huge housing bailout. They wanted it unanimous consent without a vote. And so what uh, Senator Reid, the uh, Democrat leader, is doing now is taking a number of these bills that uh, Senator Coburn mm -hmm. has, has been asking for an open debate on and packaging them up and, and they're going to try to ram them through uh, without debate. And so uh, I think it's time for Americans to realize that this secret way to move bills through, it's okay for post office, but it's not okay when these bills include a billion and a half dollars for the for the metro or 24 million to the United or, Nations. Well, absolutely. It's, it's insane. Um, you know, Senator um, uh, Harry Reid said it's a stunt, that this is the way, this isn't news. Um, what do you have to say to that? I mean, why aren't more members of Congress actually speaking out is what I have to ask. Well, I, th I think it's a way that, that a lot of the senior members have done business for years. They wait for us to leave on the weekend, and then they try to hotline these bills when, when only our staffs are here. And if you object, uh, they're very indignant about it. And again, there's a group of these bills that there might be a name of a post office or whatever that, that can be handled that way. That's more the tradition of the Senate. But to take $50 billion bills with a lot of policy in it, 
like, for instance, the, the foreign aid bill last week, and demand that it be passed unanimous consent without a vote uh, is just a terrible way to legislate. And that really is why that most of the things that we pass cause more problems than they solve. Well, and, and I think we're doing it right now with this housing bill. Well, let, you know, we have some statistics on how many of these bills are going through. It's an enormous amount. Uh, Six percent were passed by a vote, but 94 percent passed without debate or vote. And they were 388 were introduced and passed on the same day, which certainly does not give you time to read a 500 to 800 page bill. Why is everything getting pushed to the end, getting slammed through? What's so dysfunctional about this Congress? It can't possibly continue like this. No, it can't. A, a big part of the problem is the government is trying to do too much. It's intervening in all areas of our lives. Congressmen are, are spreading earmarks and taxpayer money over all kinds of causes in, in this country and in other countries. I mean, one of the things they're putting in this bill that Reid is packaging up that Senator Coburn has been holding is, is $5 million for a museum in Poland. Now, at a time when our country is in deep debt and uh, our economy is, um, is softening, I mean, we don't need to be spreading money or all around the world passing bills in secret. So we're trying to draw attention mm -hmm. to this. So, frankly, Senator Coburn is an American hero. He's been looking through these bills saying, hey, we need to adjust the spending figure, we need to change the policy, or we need to have a vote on them. And um, the Democrat majority is saying, no, we're going to ram it through. And if you try to hold it, we're going to put it out here on the floor without a vote and without amendment and uh, expect the, the, that the Senate should pass it. So um, th this is not good. And this is why I think Congress has such a low approval rating right it now. It sure does. I was about to point out the incredibly low approval ratings. And when, the, when things like this come out, I, it can improve from that. We thank you very much for coming on the thank program you, and speaking out. Senator Jim DeMint.